Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mixed Artist Let's Play. Um, I uh, had a little bit of an issue with my test pack Please Ignore map, unfortunately. I loaded into the game and uh, I decided I was going to move everything around. So what I did was I moved my, um, what was it called, the uh, infuser. Um, uh, I can't remember what it was called, Me mechanical infuser or something like that. And um, unfortunately, after I tried to uh, move the uh, wire that was connected to it, my entire game um, exited out of Minecraft, crashed. I loaded it back up through the launcher, and when I got into the game, um, my save file was completely erased. So, that's really unfortunate because I was enjoying it a lot. And what in the world just happened? I was, I was, but I just took way too long to register that that tree fell. I was, I was really enjoying that, that mod pack, you know, I was really starting to get somewhere with, um, learning Greg's tech and industrial engineering and all of that. And I, I was really, really loving the blood magic stuff, you know, and I was just trying to work on getting some stuff set up to make my life easier for the blood magic essentially and uh, lo and behold freeze take forever to decay so this is a mod pack that my brother babbles put together custom it is um, I'm not exactly sure what mods are on it but apparently we're going to be able to make some type of automated mining NPC mining villages which sounds like it's going to be pretty fun um, we've got some type of random ore generation going into the mix as well so I guess that adds a little bit of variety to the game although personally from the way I see it, it doesn't seem like it's quite as extensive as some of the other mods that were like maybe the ones in TPPI etc that we're adding in different resources so uh, what I'm doing now is I'm basically just trying to clear out this little field oh I lost my box I hit the other box I'm trying to clear out a little field here for me to be able to essentially start another farm and uh, it looks like I've got some flat land over there um, I don't know what that that direction is uh, northeast Roughly northeast. This is this is driving me nuts doing that thing. Don't want that. Where the trees, the blocks, place, and then so one of these mod packs are ridiculously resource heavy for some reason. Look at that. It's still doing it. Shift F3 for. Yeah, Look at that. It's a game renderer, and what does that say? Gameplay update. <laughs> What's it updating? <laughs> In the sky. Like, display update. It's the clouds, man. Remember how much the performance turned. The, oh. the clouds. These. There's yeah. no, there's no way that these clouds are taking up that much. It's just a skybox with a huge default texture. You know what I mean? There, there's no way. Dude, I'm telling you, man. I turn the sky. That's just off. a scrolling texture on a huge plane. Watch, watch. How do I get, how do I get to this guy? Performance?
It's under the graphics or animations. Quality, details. Custom sky. Connected textures. Oh, that's. Oh, I hit the texture button. Oh. Okay, as soon as my game catches up re-rendering all of the textures, I'll be back. And I'm back. Let's see if that any of that made a difference in our gameplay. It doesn't really seem like it did too much. Looking up at the sky still, and... The sky's still on, though. That's, that's crazy. Weird. Let's give it a second. Uh, that happens... Like, it doesn't let you leave the menu until the changes are taking place. Oh! Oh! Something made a difference. Probably the connected textures being on fancy. Yeah, cool. Alright, so even though... Apparently I turned tree cavitator off. No, it's because this wasn't a tree. It was just a pole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Faster access take time away from that, but that overall saves you time in the long run. I... Oh, I don't know how much time this is really saving me. Well... You know, that other mod, how many how many mods do you have on here? Not that many. Right, that's what I'm saying. 22 mods it says. There's no reason why this should be... No close colony. There's no reason why this should be... It says 22 mods. It sounds like there's more mods in it than I intended there to be. What I'm saying is that with... The mods I was playing with earlier on TPPI, there's no reason why this should be this ridiculous. Nothing ever <clears throat> was doing that. Maybe once or twice in TPPI, but not like this. Right. It might be Randor's, but I doubt it because I, I thought that that's what it was the first time and I got rid of it and then put it back in. Like, got rid of it and it was still the same. Alright, well this is... We got floating blocks. I hate looking at floating blocks. I thought that this was going to be a giant plane, but apparently it's this plateau, so... I'm going to head back down where I was. Which was... Somewhere around here. Let me get rid of this. Craftium. What's craftinium? Craftinium. Exactly what it sounds like it is. You actually need that. That's like the most important resource for Warcraft because you need a craftinium furnace instead of a regular furnace in order to burn most of the Randa, Randor's ingredients. You also need a craftinium crafting table. <laughs> craftinium. Yep, craftinium. That's ridiculous. Well, that tree wanted to fall. I don't understand how it is, just the name. Okay. I'm going to build a little house here right now, real quick. Most metals are named after people. Yeah. Um, I'll go with the birch because I already made some of that. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like a log a log cabin. It's gonna be a little little tiny log cabin. Yeah, right here. Okay. Um 
that's probably going to be going down. Ow. What? Okay, I just kind of want to make this look like an actual log cabin. Yeah. I have to build a scaffold. Makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I got no skills. There we go. Oh. Bomber. Yeah. Doing good. Doing doing really good. Okay. How can I make this go the way I want it to? I know what I need to do. I need to get more dirt. <laughs> dirt is always the answer. Okay, now. There we go. Now I should be at enough of an angle to be able to lay that down. Come on. Oh! <laughs> it's not happening. Okay. I know what to do. I know what to do. I think. Okay. Here's how we're going to do this. <laughs> Why would it be any different? Of course. The last thing I try. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's at least get some framework going. Come on. Okay. Now this will be this will be more quick if I do it like this. Ding. What was that ding? I don't know. Did that signify that I leveled up in something? Ding. Your building skills have gone up. Okay. I'm going to just make a hidey hole and I'll be back as soon as it's daytime. Alright, so we've survived the first night. And um, what I'm going to do real quick is I've got to fall some more trees because this is our first goal in this mod pack is to build these chests, which I don't, I don't feel like I really need to explain to anybody. How to make a chest. Um, well, you know what? You never know, right? What if somebody's watching this for the very first time? What if nobody's played Minecraft in their entire life? Okay, so we can make a chest simple with making wood planks in a circle inside of a crafting table. Anyway, so we've got enough chests to craft this caravan which is going to supply our village with goods supposedly uh, we need to have a an area that is roughly whoops doodle we need to have an area that's 17 by 17 wide in order for this I guess it's some type of a multi-block structure that's going to generate when we put this um, caravan thing down. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work. So we're going to find out. We're going to have to just drop a couple more trees over here, which will work fine because it's going to um, allow me to create my house as well. 
So we're kind of doing two things at once. And it seems like the map has generated now. So hopefully we won't have any more of these uh, tree falling rendering issues. Also, I might need to let the game load for a little bit longer before I turn my uh, recording codecs on. Oh yeah, no problems now. Yeah, and also the less trees there are, like the the less tree, the more trees you cut down, the easier it's gonna end up being on you. It's just like. Minecraft works like that. <laughs> yeah, for some reason the trees, the leaves, seem to take up an awful lot of memory for some reason. It's probably because, like, transparent textures and all that. I don't know, it's, it's Java, right? So, I think that that's some of the problem why Minecraft... Um, handles graphic rendering poorly. So I don't, I don't, I don't know if Java has plugins for DirectX libraries and stuff like that. I think uh, Java uses all its own drawing. I don't, I don't know. It's just speculation. Okay, so I think that. We roughly have enough room now. Um, we'll get rid of these five. If this X was a little bit more quicker. Yeah, I built the stone one. Is it going to save that much time? Yes. I don't have any stone. See, the, the, the tree takes the same amount of time it would take to mine every single block in the tree. Yeah. I really like that Tinker's Construct X better, I think. I may swap out random ores for Tinker's Construct because I like Tinker's Construct better, but they don't work well together yet. I don't like the random ore idea, period, in, in reality. That's just... I don't know. I mean, you said that it essentially just builds default Minecraft stuff with random ores, right? Right. 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Just enough room if I squared it perfectly. So I'm going to, just like I said, a couple more trees. Uh, all right, let's get a stone axe. And I'll be back as soon as I've got this area cleared out, everybody. And I'm back. So, now, I guess I'm going to actually quickly mow the lawn, just in case this does that, and I won't be able to reap the benefits of the seeds. So let me take a second. Okay, just in case, I don't want to, I don't want to lose any grass seeds, I really like to have my wheat farms. Okay, here we go, here we go. Put this down, right here. Oh, what? This isn't 16 wide here? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then some. So there we go. Ha ha. Oh wow. That did quite a lot. Um and now what? Oh, there's a bed. All right, that's cool. Made us a little tent. <laughs> I like the tent. That's neat. 
All right, what else we got going on here? What is this? A wagon, huh? <laughs> I guess so. Little storage pile. Town hall. Building tool. Hmm. All right. Well, let's finish laying out the framework for our log cabin. I guess I could probably do it like this. That'll look a little bit nicer. going with this wood because I like the dark texture personally I like to use uh, highly contrasting colors when I build okay oh well we've got a bed now so we don't have to worry too much about the darkness this is a furnace here, but it didn't seem to come with a crafting table. Well, probably because they're assuming that we have one with all of the chests we made. Alright, so let's come over here and grab our chest. And I'm going to have to sleep. It's going to make us wait. Alright, we'll put this right there. Uh, we need to get a shovel. There we are. Alright, achievement. A new start. So I guess this is just going to kind of be my house and not such um, the village square. Babbles doesn't have that inventory tweaks mod that I like so much. That allows us to automatically have back in our hand the items which we were using uh, like quick remember quick get I don't I don't know what you want to call that feature all right now we just run these logs out why is that taking so long to cut down a tree I think it was going to take the whole tree probably because it's attached to that it was counting it as a tree no big deal no big deal okay there we go And we just got to get rid of this one again. I'm going to put it on the face of that one. There we go. Just about finished. All right, we're going to take some dirt. Jump up here. Get this scaffolding up on the top. Oops. 
let's see. Ugh. What a bummer. One of these days I'll be good at this game. There we are. Alright. Now. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. At least we can have some fun about it, right? Okay. Now we just got to get the other side. Correct these little errors. Um... There's got to be a better way of doing this, right? I don't know. Creative mode. <laughs> okay. All right. Ugh. You're killing me, Smalls. Okay, now, how are we going to do the roof? Um, I'm kind of thinking I should just do stairs. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to finish up my house, actually, and I'm going to save the uh, footage for something a little bit more interesting. I'll show you guys what I come up with when I'm done. Okay, welcome back gamers. Um, I've just finished up. It took a little bit longer than I expected. Um, yeah. Not quite as nice as I'd hoped it would have been. Got flat walls here and everything like that. But um, it looks okay for something I did in creative mode or uh, psh, psh, survival mode instead of creative mode excuse me uh, it took it took a while to do this usually uh, when I'm playing I kind of build as I'm as I'm going so I never really realized how much time I spend actually building so yeah this is it it's pretty small here I've got a couple more windows I gotta dig up a little more sand I'm um, getting ready to go drop my town hall here any minute now so I'm thinking about putting it right up on top of there Babbles says that the uh, town kind of has a 150 block radius I'm not exactly sure what that means but I guess we'll find out apparently it's like an area where you can build your towns and mob free spawn or something like that so what I wanted to do was, um, was I was up here my shovel broke on me and um, yeah I was doing a little terraforming but I've got to uh, get some more resources before I actually do that so I'm thinking that I'm just gonna kinda Put down these trees here maybe and put it there although I could put it on top of that hill perhaps as well what's that purple that's showing up on the map Whoa, what's this? Essence of Earth, more 
Vanilla armors, huh? Looks like <laughs> looks like a map. Uh, some silly names for or um, what is this purple? I guess it's coal. That's what it appears to be. I don't know. This looks like a pretty good little spot to me for uh, start of a mining colony, I guess. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna go back, and pick that stuff up, and put it down. Cook this pork. All right, well, I wonder what this place is going to look like into the future. You never really know. Because I was, I was going to build just a straight roof. But then, um, I, I, I felt like originally that my uh, rectangle box shape was, was fine and everything. But then I was looking at it on the inside um, as I was getting ready to put the walls up. And I was thinking that... It was going to be kind of small, so I decided to just kind of add in another, uh, an expansion. So then I started putting the roof on, and I was thinking, it is awfully, awfully wide roof to keep going straight up with, even though I think it took more, uh, more stairs to put that roof on there. Um, I think it turned out a lot nicer. All right, let's go. Oh, I gotta, gotta get some wood. All right, I'm just gonna put this back over here and I'm gonna go not worry too much about my hunger at the moment. I wanna get this, I wanna get this um, town hall on the ground here. And I have no idea what in the world this building tool is for either some different things in this that's for sure so hopefully there's a lot of gadgets to play with that's i really like the extra gadgets a lot um whoa was it oh I can't rename it. Oh, here we go. Um, hmm. Well, I'm going to have to think of a name for a minute. I'll be back. Okay, I just just found an awesome name here. Golduin. So I'm going to call it Golduin Hill. Okay, Golduin is a female's name for the one who loves to live life on the principles to get success with imaginatory and creative ideas. I really like that name. All right. Um, where? How do I get my colonists? What do I do? I get to name them. Oh, that's cool! Wow. Worker hiring mode automatic. Oh. Cool. What do you do? They have stats. What do you do? Huh. Don't take my house. I just worked for hours. To 
me hours. Um. You need a builder. Okay. Um, I probably have to sign them or something. One out of four citizens. Unemployed. Right. Okay. Kaylee, Liam, Gooder. <laughs> yes, he's Gooder. Kaylee Courtney. Um, housing assignment. How do I get a builder? Work orders. Hmm. I guess that doesn't do anything. I want to manually do this. That's the whole point, right? I probably have to give them something. Um, I need food. Let's see. You be a lumberjack. Go lumberjack. Go lumberjack stuff. Searching job. Cool. What? Yes. It's my gold. What does that mean? Do I have to pay him? I don't, I don't understand. Okay. I'm going to have to figure this out. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to call this episode complete for now and um, I'm looking forward to starting another series here so thank you for tuning in please uh, like comment subscribe and um, I'll see you guys next time